Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm back here from houseimprovements.com and uh, today's video I want to just show you how to uh, adjust a door. We want to try to close up this gap a little bit here just to equal out the gap on both sides and as as well the situation here when we're closing the door this bottom hinge if you can focus in right down there this bottom hinge has a little bit of flex in it because the, the hinge is binding just a little bit down there. So I'm going to show you how to shim those hinges over to fix both of those problems. And it's really pretty easy. Uh, if you're in a new, like say you've just installed the door, um, the easiest thing to use is actually the cardboard that the hinges uh, were in. If it's an interior door, usually the hinges are packed separately. But basically all you want is just some really thin uh, little basic cardboard you don't want it too thick, but just some packaging off of some kind of product. And you're going to want, it depends how much you're going to shim. In this case, we're going to use about three thicknesses of this. So I cut it to this size, and then what I'll do is actually fold it so it's going to be three layers thick, like so. So this is the size I want in the end. So if you're doing uh, only one or two layers, obviously you've got to just modify your cut. And I would say this is close to about half an inch, three-eighths to half an inch wide. And that usually works out pretty good so it doesn't interfere with the screws. Okay, so I think we'll just reposition the camera a little bit uh, because I will need to loosen off all the screws on the hinges in order to get them to move a little bit to get the shimming in there. And I'll just kind of show you, you know, sort of how much you need to start out with. Okay, so one of the first steps we need to do is open the door right up to expose this leaf of the hinges. This is the leaf we're going to shim. We're going to have the shim out in this position behind, the, behind this leaf of the hinge. But we need to loosen all the screws off in each hinge to do that. So these, the, the, hin, the screws uh, closest to the stop here don't need to be loosened off very much, maybe uh, protruding an eighth of an inch. These ones here usually more like a quarter of an inch. And you will notice once you do all the hinges, the door is going to slightly move a little bit. You may only want to do one hinge at a time, it's up to you. Um, but you're going to have to have them all loosened off like this. Then I'm going to step back inside, close the door as much as I can. Now you won't be able to close it because the hinges are going to bind on these screws, but you'll be able to close it enough to work on getting the shims in. Okay, so like I just mentioned, uh, we want to loose, loosen off all the hinges or we did in this case, you may not, depending, maybe you've got an uneven gap, so you're trying to shim the bottom or the top or something over, or just adjust one hinge, but in our case, we're adjusting all the hinges, and uh, I think we'll be adjusting them all pretty equally. So I've got my cardboard. I've already put the cardboard in the ones up above, but you just want to slip it in there. Sorry if my head's in the way, but I'll get back here in a minute. Slip it in there just so it's back in kind of flush or just a little bit further back than the edge of the jam itself. You don't want to get it too far back because you're using that cardboard to basically pivot that hinge, which is moving this, this pivot point of the hinge instead of, I'm exaggerating, but instead of it being over here, by shimming where we are, we're moving it further this way, which should shift the door and, and help all the problems we're having. So get it basically tucked in there. I've got it tucked in on all the hinges and then uh, you just want to slip outside again, tighten the screws all up and then check your door and see if you've got it right or if you've got to play a little bit more. Okay, so we got them all uh, shimmed over and the screws all done up. And you can see here, we've closed our gap. You may not be able to tell quite as well by the video, but we've closed our gap close to an eighth of an inch tighter than it was, so I'm, I'm more happy with that. So in turn, we've opened this gap a bit, and we've got the hinges so they're not, not springing around quite so much. There's a little play in that bottom hinge in the pin, but uh, it's not actually twisting the jam like it was before. So I think we've uh, pretty much got her where it needs to be, and this is a pretty common thing. Um, not only on exterior doors, but more so on interior doors. I do this all the time because, uh, especially the pre-hung ones, you know, they're machined a little different uh, from one to the other, and uh, you usually need to play with it a little bit. And this is the easiest way to do that. So hopefully that uh, helped you out if you have a door binding or 
or uh, you know just isn't quite lining up with the equal reveal that you want that's a quick and easy way to do it and uh, doesn't cost you a dime as always like comment and subscribe below and if you want to help us make more of these videos you can click our patreon link below thanks for watching we'll see you next time